Hey guys, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII, where we are deep within the bowels of the Northern Crater, trying to find ourselves as many tasty APs as we can. We're trying to master the summons, the support, and the command material. That's red, blue, and yellow. And as you can see, we are off to a spiffing start already, getting those reds done. So the basic plan is just to run around in this place, trying to find these magic pots. We give them an elixir, and then just beat them up somehow. And we get a thousand AP for that. That is the most easy, low effort way of doing so. In this area, we face things like Christopher and Gigi. We also have Master Tombries to deal with. There are Alamange, the bat-eyed crazy things up there. Uh, but of course, as I say, we are mainly after these uh, magic pots. There are, of course, also things called movers. They also give us a whole load of AP uh, and stuff like that. So, as you can imagine, we're starting to get to the point where we don't actually need to level up everything that I've got slots available for. We've already done the majority of the magic, and we are now getting our way to being done with the majority of everything else. Uh, I believe at the moment the things that we really need to uh, focus on are things like steel as well, Quadra Magic, Added Effect, um, you can see me all working through them right now, and that leaves me a little bit of space to do things like put the uh, Experience Plus onto Cat Sith, because obviously all we need to do is max him out on level, he's already got both levels of his limit, so we, we don't need to do anything else like that. Unlike Red 13 of course, who have we given cover to because we want to try and max out his limit. Okay, so basic battle plan. Cloud almost always comes in with that ultimate to begin with because it is one of those surprise attack uh, support materials. Uh, I've also done a few experiments with Cat Sith. You can see there that when I did a gravity, uh, not a gravity, sorry, a quake, I also stole as well. And the fire was supposed to do added cut, but it didn't on that second casting there. Of course, we're using the standard W magic and Quadra magic to really pump out the number of uh, kills. So with these experimental pairings, I have discovered that if you steal from Tombries, uh, you can get elixirs to throw at these magic pots, but I, uh, I, I really need more like many many more the reason being uh, still as well or magic cover in fact magic cover needs 250,000 AP that's 250 magic pots and remember you need an elixir for each one of those magic pots and you may have worked out from the way that I was talking that magic counter is the one with the most AP uh, that I need to try and work on there. You can see counter was born, so that's pretty good. And we're getting more turbo ethers than I actually know what to do with uh, right now. Which is not the worst thing in the world, especially with Cat Sith having like thousands of AP to worry about. Sneak attack born there, that's wonderful. That means that we can get someone else casting when they first log in. And we are trying to get Red 13's limit level up there. So you are going to see that a lot. Knights of the Round, Mega Rule and W Magic, I think that was, uh, leveling up there. That was pretty solid. Go looking through, I'm leaving the Sneak Attack Ultima on a Cloud, and then I'm giving Sneak Attack to uh, Red 13. And we just saw Cloud uh, max out on his level there. Absolutely beautiful. One of the big things I was trying to achieve there was to get that particular uh, uh, achievement. W Summon pop it in there and Hades Destruct was born. We're literally just going to be watching a whole load of things are rolling. Uh, a whole load of masters happen which is a pretty good final attack in particular was the one that I was looking for there. Now this Howling Moon, I'm fairly sure it's supposed to put me in Berserk but I think because I've got the ring on, uh, not the ring, the ribbon, it doesn't actually do so. So I end up doing it quite a lot. As you can see it doesn't actually do anything to me. Which I can live with because I'm just trying to get the count so that when this kicks through we get earth rave on next that is a beautiful exactly what was after that now means red 13 is a maxed out on his uh, limit break there so uh, that that is beautiful so uh, now i've just noticed that really this whole thing has kind of got away from me here and i've got things that i really need to concentrate on single growth slots and things like this so uh what i need to do really actually is just take everything off of everybody and go around and rearrange now i put down a few things that I know people are going to need like uh, Cat Sith needs the HP MP thing but more importantly I put Magic Counter, Typhoon and whatever that last one is I can't remember what it is they are the ones that actually just need to max out so I put them on the triple growth there. Believe it or not I have got 55 or zero minutes worth of footage left to go but I'm just going to skip to two of the most important things here. I set up on Cat Sith Quadra Magic Sneak Attack Ultima Steel as well so we cast Ultima when he first arrives but also tries to steal as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on the sneak attack. He doesn't steal as well. Um, 
we could tell that on Christopher and Gigi, but here we go with the Tonbury. Now that we've done the ultimate without the sneak attack, it's gone and uh, stolen the elixir. So that's a little, little weird, but that's something to look out for. So there's added cut. That was the other support that I couldn't remember about. There is Typhoon and Quadra Magic being born. Literally the only thing left to get now is Magic Counter. So I've made my way back up to the top of the crater. And if we have a look inside Cloud here, go to the material. He has got the four pieces of material we need to level up to call ourselves true uh, ma material masters. Apart from there's one other thing. We are missing the Gill Plus. We need to go to the Gold Saucer and get ourselves that little piece of materia there. Because, like, there's a there's a bit of a push left to go, especially on this hill. I didn't quite realise how far behind it was. Technically, we don't need to level this one up to get the expi uh, get the achievement. That's what they're called here, achievements. Uh, yeah, we don't need to do this one for the achievement because we have already done it. But I would like a second Master Magic. Uh, but, yeah, before we go and invest all that time, I definitely want to go uh, to the gold saucer and grab us the last bit of materia. So there are various ways of making the GP that we're after, but two immediately stick out at me. You will remember the guy who hangs out in the corner over there. We're going to try and spawn him in quick. Uh, and also, Chocobo Races. That is by far one of the best ways to get GP. Uh, we could also, of course, spend some time in the arcade trying to make money there, but that's actually pretty difficult. So uh, I don't think it's the, the wise time investment. But maybe, maybe. Well, like, I've got... I've got a lot of time to spend here, so we can uh, probably kill it, kill that time in a variety of manners. I was quite expecting this guy to have spawned in by now, so I'm going to uh, shut up and let this let this happen. Oh, no, 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 I'm not going to shut up. I'm just going to get on with it. Okay, dude, how are you doing over there? Can I please trade some money? I think this will put us at about 500, maybe? I need to get us up to 1,000. Now, we could do this again, uh, and I will definitely try and look at it. Oh, man, that's, yeah, that's, that's good. I, I really could do with doing that a lot, lot higher. Does this tell me how much I've got? Uh, 515. Okay, that is a thing to be worked on. It's a shame there's no way of trading battle points in for gold piece. That that would be pretty nice if we could do that. Hey, Esther, how are you doing? I would like to ride. Yes, indeed. Let me register. Which one? Well, I, I think we're going to take Gladys, but I'm not. Don't don't think that we're going to stay here. Uh, yeah, rank C. R really? Really? Okay, we'll go with the short one. Good luck. Take care. Yeah, thanks very much. We should be all right. Hopefully, we're going to get the Mega Elixir. I don't think any others are really worth any money there. Okay, let's do this. All right. Press the wrong button. <laughs> All right, press the wrong button. Let's do this. I managed to like tab out. Great, that that was exactly what I wanted. Uh, I'm just gonna run it on automatic. I've held down the two a uh, shift, but no, the two shoulder buttons. I don't know why I said shift buttons. That was, I mean, there's a left and right shift button, so maybe it was left and right shoulder button as well. Who knows? But Gladys just absolutely ripping away here. I, I don't think it's even worth us watching the rest of this because it is just so... She has got the perfect line, though. She has been on the good corners the whole way. I'm just going to carry on talking about how good she is at this, and even with that little dive at the end there, perfect. Now I'm going to do a cut because, wow, waiting around just watching the camera pan isn't, isn't the one, is it? All right, here they are. Nice. Come on, Mega Elixir. I've got more than two. Ah, oh, Tranquilizer. That's that's not quite as good, but, you know, it'll do. It'll do. I was going to um and ah about whether to keep the Mega Elixir if we want it. Uh, I want the GP, please. But as I've got more than two, I mean, that that's the thing. Oh, wow. Oh, we're going to have to do, like, 50 of these? Oh, oh, no. Uh, congratulations, you're in first. Thanks very much. Oh, oh. Oh, I guess I'll see you at rank B, guys. Okay, rank B. I did the long course there. Man, that that was that was noisy. I forgot about the uh, the water glitch there, but I'm gonna do it again because you know my get my get better stuff. Oh, it looks like we've got a race on our hands. Tio is on board. Okay, for a five fang turbo ether or ice crystal. Let's do this. What do you got for me, Tio? What do you? Oh, uh, what? No, are we are we gonna go? Are we, can we go faster? Oh man, glad maybe I sh maybe I shouldn't have taken control here. Gladys has actually a pretty badly optimized chocobo. Why why aren't I doing any better? Go 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 go. Oh, just just keep going. Where where are you? I can't I can't control her. I cannot control her. I think we need to fill her with intelligence greens. That is definitely a way forward. That I'm trying to get to the the inside edge, but she just keeps running to this other one. Um, I mean that that was good. Good diving there. Good, good 
uh, sprinting, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, but I, I'm just not going to win this. I am just not going to win this. I'm well ahead of the rest of the pack, but Tio's like, yeah, whatever, bruv, and just gone with it. Maybe if she was a little easier to control, I mean, like that little dive there, like, what was that? What was that? What, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Well, there we go. Tio has already won. That's a bit of a shame there. I've uh, got to try and figure out how to do better than him at some point. Oh, oh dis disgrace. I feel, I feel saddened. I feel saddened. Uh, let's go spend some money, shall we? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go spend some money on getting some, uh, get some greens. So the real question, of course, is with my near limitless money, what? how much are we going to spend here? Do I just, like, max her out? Let's see if we can do that. I don't think I'm going to put 99 into her. Ooh, that is... That's a lot of money. Is that all my money, or do I have one more zero than that? I have one more zero than that. Ka-ching! Thanks very much. I'll just take all of those. <laughs> hey, Billy, I'm here to force feed my, my animals. I hear it's like what you do nowadays. Okay, let's feed all the way down. Man, come on. All the way down here. Silas Greens. Which ones are we going to feed it to? What, more importantly, what numbers are we going to... Oh, Gladys, you're looking like very pale there. Why, why are you looking so pale? Uh, is it because you're out and about? It might be because you're out and about. I, I didn't realise that was a thing. I did not realise. Okay, let's go and get her. Uh, can we... I presume we can just ride her into here. I presume we can just ride her into here. I've got her just kind of chilled outside. That that wasn't the best. That wasn't the best. Caught, taught me a little off guard. And now? Does this work? I, I hope so. Best do. Like, I, I really, really, really would like that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can see her up there. Welcome. Let's try this all over again, shall we? Thanks very much. Uh, I wish I could go off the top edge of this menu, but it turns out that is not the thing. So that's the way. Okay, let's come this way. Thank you very much. Let's just feed her up. I don't know, I'm going to do in batches of 20? That might, might work out. I mean, 99 is not really divisible by much, is it? So, uh, is this right? Yeah. I mean, 33. We could feed a 33 at a time, I suppose. But that, that seems a little bit over-excessive. Um, that said, 20 still seems pretty excessive. Speed plus, stamina plus. They're getting along better. No intelligence plus. I really could have done with that intelligence plus, if I'm to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Welcome. Okay, I'm going to try 10 this time. Let's see what we get. Let's uh, go all the way down to the bottom to Silkis Sil Sil Greens, I think it was. Uh, back over this way. Yeah, let's go, let's go for another 10. Who knows if it's going to do the right stuff? Let, let's see what else we're going to max out here. They're just they're just getting along better now. What? Hmm. If nothing, if none of the points went up, how are they getting along better now? You know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Do I need to request to ride again? Oh, I think we'll be all right just with the high wind. We don't we don't really need to go over any mountains at any point, do we? So that that should be fine. Let's go. Let's get back and try and see if she's better at racing now. Okay, let's see if we do any better here. We got Tio again. Beautiful. Look at his stats being just like massively bigger than mine. Uh, we'll see what we can do about that. Turn that off. Are you going to listen to me? Yes, you listen to me. Okay, great. Uh, we should be able just to outpace Tio because I am I'm crawler to my to my chocobos. I just I'm like go 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 go. While Tio is like save it to the last moment. I'm like no no no. You give you give it all now or it's not worth it. You know. Tio is only a couple of corners behind me, but I think we should be able to make this pretty quickly, get, given the speed we're going as well. Like, feel this. Just absolutely feel the speed. I'm going to start running now. Oh, yeah. All right, we got it. Bam. Well, as with always, when you have a problem, just throw lots of money at it, and it kind of fixes itself. Hey, Tio, how you doing, buddy? All right, let's 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 have a look. Did we get the potion, the ice crystal, or the phoenix down? I don't even know which one's going to give me the most money. Uh, potion like what's that what's that gonna do what's that even gonna give me like one gp like, yeah i want gp please five oh I, did, no, like, I got up to the heady heights of 15 there oh we moved up a rank nice uh, a rank nice maybe we can start selling the stuff from the a rank that'd be pretty good uh let me register i think we've got everything that we actually ever will need uh if we get another like sneak attack Materia, I mean, like that—that that would that would sell pretty well. We've already got quite a few of those, so let's let's do it. All right, let's let's see what we got. Mega Elixir Potion on Arctic Wind. That's that's all right, I suppose. And no, no really, no real threat. I'm just going to put my controller down and watch a race. I'm starting to come to the conclusion that if you just don't touch the controller, they run faster. Oh, potion hype. Uh, the, the, the whole game just runs a little bit faster. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I want GP, please. I might, try, I might try it this time. Like, I'll just put the controller down and we'll see if it looks faster. The thing, of course, is that I've got a... 
kind of made my chocobo faster, so it's hard to tell. But I was fairly sure it was happening in the C class as well. Things were just happening quicker. Yes, please, which one do we want? We want the short ride. Good luck, take care. No Tio. Okay. Uh, Fire Fang Hyper or the Cat Spell. The Cat Spell is probably going to sell quite well. Okay, so I take my hands off, and of course, the, now that it's us all watching together, it's one of the slow ones. Um, hmm, embarrassing. Oh, the cat spell. Nice. Wicked. Let's see what it sells for. I want GP, please. Uh, 500. Yeah, give it to me. That is technically all the money we needed. Uh, but I've, I've had a new idea about what the, the speed up thing was. I reckon if I race now, uh, Gladys is going to try and sprint the whole way. There's a few behaviours that happen with, with the Chocobos. Uh, let's just go with a short one. That I have noticed, and I'm trying to figure out if there's a pattern or if it's just random or what. The bolt plume would be pretty good there. Uh, so if I put that down, are you just going to start sprinting? Yeah. Now, do you just carry on sprinting? So this is one of the things. So maybe what I'm actually recognising is that she just pushes it. Now, I'm now going to hold on to these things, uh, the, the shoulder buttons here. So yeah, maybe what I'm actually watching is a third mode of behavior so the last one was where she just races normally this one is the one where she keeps trying to sprint all the time and then the other one is where they just kind of like accelerate all the way now i wish i could go with that accelerate one because it's a much more sustainable vision of the future um, <laughs> you know uh, we, we don't get to the line and be tired like we are now so yeah i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna try again because i think the next one is when it loops around onto the fast one and i want to show you guys that i'm not crazy wow s rank next okay let, I, I hope that doesn't change with anything um uh, here we go we'll find out gladys is going i'll register to this rank s yes a police i will take the short one good luck take care any to no to okay cool swift bolt phoenix down or sprint shoes nice nice okay so if i leave this we should just go yeah look 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 how fast it is it's amazing um gladys isn't going very well through the course though there there we go there we go i mean just like look just absolutely look how manic she's going i am i'm totally on this i also need to like clutch the shoulder buttons here no 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 go go uh, mm. oh well the sprint worked out for us of course of course the space zone is always going to be our secret weapon there but look how quick that was Honestly, that was outrageous. Swift Bolt. Do we have a Swift Bolt already? I don't know if that's something we've got. I'm going to keep it just in case. I won. Ooh, okay, uh, I want the item, please. Cool, Swift Bolt. Let's, uh, congratulations, you are first. Of, of, of course I am. Item, Swift Bolt. Oh, man, it could be anywhere in here. Oh, we didn't have one. Look at that. It uses bolt, uh, bolt 3 on all opponents. That is great. Uh, so I wanted to sort by type, right? That's, that's always the best way of sorting that. Okay, so we've got lots of money. Let's, let's go to the arcade. We've got a thing we need to get. Uh, you. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you. You have 1,135. Yeah, I'd like to, uh, spend the last of my monies, please. Yeah, this, this one here. Uh, oh, I don't get to buy the others. What's the 500, then? What is the 500? Receive Gil Plus Materia. Hype! It's the last one we need. It really, really is. Okay, where are we going to put it? That's the next question. Okay, we're back to the Galinka, because I want to do an experiment. We're going to go to equipment. We're going to go to Red 13. We're going to get rid of the ribbon. I know, crazy, crazy. I didn't even think about what we're going to give him instead. Uh, drains poison attacks. That's probably the best one there. All right, let's try this. Uh, now, we're going to go fight any random monster, because we've already got one of his uh, limits ready to go. I want to know if doing the Howling Moon allows me uh, to... To, uh, well, I just want to see what happens without the ribbon on. Uh, do we... Are we, we going to get caught? I'm, I'm really used to, like, this being a lot quicker. Let's have a look. See if I've got enemy away on. Yeah, there it is. Whoops. <laughs> All right. It, li literally instantly. I pressed the menu button and we went. Okay, so let's see and wait at what happens here. Cat Sith was caught by surprise. That that wasn't exactly what I wanted. Uh... Ooh, this, this might end up killing him because Cat Sith is pretty powerful here. Mm. Oh, well, well, we'll wait and see. Four, four Ultima to go. Is it going to be enough? That's that's uh, 6,000 points. 6.6 6. 6 maybe we just pumped out there. 9.9. .9. Uh, this is going to get to about 12, shall we say. Is 12,000 points enough? It is a killing blow. It is a, okay, we're going to have to take that off of him, I think. That, that might be the way forwards there. 
Also, swapping out preemptive for quadra magic, even though it's not paired up with something, man, another quadra magic wouldn't go amiss. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, are we gonna have another bad guy here? Now, now we should be able to see what the Howling Moon does. This guy's pretty powerful, but that's all right. Limit Howling Moon. Uh, that was that was pretty powerful. Uh, let's do a White Wind. Seems like no. Let's do an Angel Whisper onto my man who's gonna keep getting hit there. Okay, so does that berserk him? Yeah. Okay, so now that makes a lot more sense. Okay, that's that's cool. Let's do a Big Guard as well. That sounds like a good winner in the situation that we find ourselves in immediate big hits okay so that that's pretty good i wanted to find out what was going on there now i'm gonna run around and do uh well try and get red 13's limit back up because i want to show you what the new one is oh we're almost there already just in this one fight let's just hold on and see yeah there we go that's enough all right red 13 earth rave do it right i just went oh hit my desk i'm so excited i just wanted to show you the new limit here for red 13 that is uh, looking pretty tasty. Oh, 999, 598. I mean, even if they all hit 5,000s, that, that was a lot. That was like five separate hits there. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Um, not really getting the XP down here, though. It has to be said, like 1,500 XP, that's pretty good. But I missed the magic pots already. I, I really do. I really do. How about fighting multiple monsters? Am I going to get enough hit? I mean, there's only two, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. Thankfully, everyone's pretty good at getting their limit bars worked up down here. So that's that's cool. It's not it's not hard just to fight against stuff either. So that I'm fine with that. Do I want to only slash? Not really. Uh, if I'm to be honest with you, that is not high on my list of priorities against these small guys. Maybe like right at the beginning of the fight would be a good time to do that, but... Not, not when it's just one person at the end there. Uh, 1800, I mean, it's a little bit better, but it's not great, is it? Mm. It's a little bit of a shame, because I was kind of hoping that we could have a change of scenery for a little bit. That that would be pretty tasty, you know what I'm saying? It's been, We've been, been in the same area for so long now, or at least I feel like I have. For you guys, it's been like 20 minutes. For me, it's been six hours. So <laughs> it's, I, I, I would like a small, small change of scenery if possible, but the payoffs are just not worth it. So I, I don't know, I don't know. The, the Omni Slash, definitely doing the business though, definitely doing the business. I'm not sure how much uh, XP this guy gives, let's have a look. He's one of the tougher ones around here, he's not the Leviathan, the Leviathan really punches out the XP I think. 2000 there, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's noticeable, that's noticeable. Cat Sif could definitely do with extra, uh, extra e uh, experience game ones, wow, yeah, language use, it's great. We are literally at the point where Cat Sith needs like 94 XP to be level 99, at which point we will literally be done with Cat Sith and won't see him again until the final battle. Uh, so I, I think it was a good time to bring you guys back in here. Man, that, that, that suddenly there, it seems very loud, so let's just turn that down a little bit on my side. I've set up a whole bunch of attacks here, but they're not even gonna be able to get done because this first attack from Cat Sith that keeps coming out is a quadruple Ultima. I mean, like four Ultimas in a row. Even though they're quite weak, they're generally enough to finish off most things we come up against. Uh, and now, if we look, look, look how far that bar is. Bam! Level 99. Cat Sith, thank you very much uh, for your service. I think it's time to swap you out. I have uh, noticed that... Let's come over to here. Nice, cool. I have noticed that in the PHS here. Let's call up Cat Sith. Barrett, uh, 85. Oh no, there was someone. Oh no, no. Okay, so it was Barrett, but I thought he was. I thought he was at a mere level 80. My my most sincere apologies about that. But we're going to bring Barrett in anyway because he is the lowest level dude there. Hopefully we can just do a straight swap with stuff here. I forgot to do a thing. You know what that thing was? I forgot to get the ribbon off of Catsif. A couple of very nice weapons here, but they've got no, no growth on them. Unfortunately, the only growth that Barret has is double, so I think I'm just going to go with this long-range weapon here. Looks pretty tasty. It's a fairly good one. It's not quite as nice as the missing score, obviously, but that's because it's his, like, perfect weapon, so that that's not going to happen. And all the others are just kind of like, a mm, little, little bit meh. So we'll be going with this. Now, I kind of... Hmm, I would love to uh, set Barret out here in the same way that we set... Uh, Cat Sith up, but he's Barrett's not a mage. He's he's got a gun on his arm for a reason. So maybe we can swap 
Red 13 with Barrett. Try and find the things. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a good swap there. And then we can go Cat Sith comes up to Red 13. We'll have to try and figure out what we're doing with these final things over here. What is that? Enemy skill and Mega All. Yeah, they definitely do need to go on to Red 13 somewhere. Okay, so I'm trying to set Red 13 up as the uh, the fire as we land mage. And the steel as well ultima, whilst beautiful, isn't really working in this setup. So we're going to have the sneak attack ultima. That, that's pretty good there. Uh, but we need to try and figure out some other things. So uh, in here, I think it's going to go the mega all and the enemy skill. Just because it doesn't have the double growth. Or, or is it? I mean, they are single slot thing. I'm not really growing now, am I? That's only on... Cloud. Do I want to actually change his rune armlet? Yeah, let's let's give him a decent armlet. Why not? He's the mage. Let's do it. Do I give him the mist steel or the dragon armlet? I think I'm gonna go with the dragon armlet. That seems like the best option there. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. That that is like super cool actually. Uh, then we can move this one. Well, let's just look at all the slots. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna have to stop and think. I'm gonna have to stop and think. Okay, when we've added effect Hades to my attack and counter contain. Just seems like a good shout. shout. But with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time where we're going to go and trade a whole bunch of stuff in. Get ourselves the, uh, the uh, mastered materia for the command and summons. And uh, maybe, maybe some other levels, some other characters will be topping out. But I will see you then. Oh, and we're going to do that. Bye!